All right, so we've got another three by three here. This one happens to be a cube. And um, so this one is similar in color, but that's only going to help us, whoops, a little bit. Uh, you can see that this one's much easier to turn than some of the other ones that I've done, but not as uh, easy as my speed cube. So uh, this one's a little bit more obvious that it's a 3x3. Three three. Um, so I'll just uh, uh, get this going. And uh, you can see just right away that this is another uh, shape changer. And that it uh, gets uh, kind of ugly and uh, intimidating really quickly. But it is just a 3x3, three three, even if um, there's a bunch of pokey bits. Oh, and there we go. It's another one that getting aligned to make turns is a little bit on the difficult side. Hmm. Okay, so that is a little mentally challenging there, and uh, I think I've, uh, oh, there's some centers po poking out, so I'll just uh, go ahead and get started with this, and of course I always like to start with the white. So we will just get that going. And uh, where's the, there's the last white. And so we've got blue, blue, uh, orange, and whoops, green. So I'll we'll need to, hello. Get that solved. And then our green and our reds. So now, um, I was going to say we need to find our green and white, but our green and white is right there. Um, so i got to think about this uh, for a little bit. It's been a while since I've done this one, but um, i just got to think 3x3. Three three and um, uh, we'll get this going in just a second. Okay, there we go. And I have a feeling that I uh, need to get the centers going in the same way too because if you'll notice here, um, we need to have this green or do we? Nope, that's aligned there. So Oof. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this one. Ah. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. So it's not this one that i got to worry about being oriented correctly, because this is uh, just this edge piece. This is our center right here. So i got to get that turned around on all of them f before I go f anywhere. So, <clears throat> camera sliding around on me again. Okay, so we need to match up a green and a green. Uh, so I'm gonna. Woo.
that uh, I got to think of how I want to do this. Okay. There we go. So even though these colors don't match, that doesn't matter. If I wanted to do that, I can just uh, make the turn there. So you can see, if I had it in frame, you can see that needs to do a 180. So I'm going to, let's see, yeah. Move that out, out of the way. Give it a 180 turn. Bring that back and bring that back. So that needs a little bit of a turn. Flip that to the bottom. Oof. Sliding around on me again. And that. Okay, so now we've got the centers um, of our sides going in the right direction. So those will no longer mess us up. As long as I uh, don't mess up the centers. Okay, so these are actually our corner pieces and these are our side pieces. It, uh, you have to look at it like this. To think about it like that. <laughs> yeah, kind of fun, kind of um, uh, just messes with your brain there. So, we have to think about our edges as our corners and uh, our corners as our edges and um, just go from there. So, okay. Looking for uh, white and red. That's what I'm looking for. White and red. Okay. And then white and orange, white, white and orange, okay. And now we've got our first layer going, our top layer. And that one just happens to be in the right spot. But now we need to get uh, our green, which is over here. So let's get our red. Think about this for a second. There we go. And now we can go for our green. Wrong green. Uh, that's the correct green. So. Get aligned here. Uh, 
Okay. So that's three out of the four. And now we need which blue? Not that blue. We need this blue. Oof. lining up there we go okay so there's our two our top and middle layers now we just have to deal with uh, the mess that's on top so now we have to remember that these are the corners and these are the edges so what do we got here I'm having a, a brain fart here. So we need to get that rotated. And uh, that's interesting that only one of them needs to get rotated. Yeah, everything else is um, solved. So. Huh. I guess we'll just uh, have to see where this goes. Okay, so we need to get this one over here. kind of hoping that one would uh, get rotated when um, I did that, but it didn't. So that puts me into an uh, interesting predicament. Then all of these are rotated correctly. I wonder if this one accidentally got... Uh, twisted while I was um, uh, unsolving it or mixing it up. So I'm just going to go from here and uh, uh, finish off putting the corners into the right position. to do that one more time. What's going on here? There. Okay. So all of that is in the correct positions. Just a uh, wrong orientation. And I'm still wondering how that one got to be like that. Oh, that's what it is. It's a polarity problem. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, okay. So this needs to be rotated 90 degrees, I think. Is that what it is? Oh, so let's rotate it 90 degrees and see if that solves our problem. Okay. So now we need this one over here. Uh, 
Oh, I'm having a brain fart again. <laughs> okay. Before I do that, I have to rotate that around. Nope, I have to rotate that first, and then I can rotate, and then I can rotate that back, and then, okay. So now I can get um, this into the right spot. Okay, so I got that back around, and then we got to find an orange. Okay, ooh, better. Now we have these two um, that need to be rotated. Uh, just like uh, these get rotated. So now that we have two of them, uh, we can do that normally. So I fixed the polarity problem by uh, rotating the centerpiece 90 degrees. <laughs> oh, this is so fun, you know. I, but I'm glad. Um, uh, that happened so that um, uh, if you run into this issue you'll know how to do it um, and you won't think your puzzle is broke like I just thought my puzzle was broken um, so <clears throat> continuing on And now we have all of them in the correct orientation, all of our edges. But our edges, which are our corners, are out of place. So we'll have to do that. Uh, we have the excuse me, green and orange that needs to get over here. So we've got that fixed now, and now we need to fix our corners, and um, now that those are in the right spot, so we'll do our corner uh, algorithm uh, to get one of them in the correct spot, and uh, the other three not in the correct spot. But doing it again. Fixes it. If it didn't, we could do it a, another turn. But now we just have to get these two in the correct orientation. And that's our standard um, corner orientation algorithm. So we just have to. not let things slide around. Oof. I think I let things slide around.
Oh, fortunately, no. Sorry that was super close, but, um, um, the camera was sliding around, my, P uh, yeah, the pieces were sliding around, but, uh, there you have it solved. So, um, even though there was a parity issue, this is still a 3x3, three three. um, use all of the same algorithms except for uh, turning your center here and um, um, making sure these centers are in the correct orientation but otherwise everything else is a 3x3 three three. so um, there you have it I hope I didn't confuse you too much but um, um, there you go I think I need to take a break. <laughs> Regardless, uh, I'll see you around, and uh, hopefully uh, you learn something. Talk to you later. Bye.